you know, I've never before in presenting a bill been on the same side of so many editorials. Tribune has editorialized twice, to, or more than twice, the South Town Star, the Sun Times, Rockford Register, the Southern, uh, it goes on, Quad City Times, Daily Herald, St. Louis Dispatch. Uh, yet, it's been said that the people have not been hearing about this issue. Wow, I don't know where they've been. It's been said that this should be put to referendum. And Senator Hutchinson was right. We are a representative democracy. We have a responsibility. We didn't put it to referendum when we imposed the death penalty, did we? I wasn't here. Does somebody remember? We didn't do that. It wasn't a referendum. The legislature did that. If you don't want to take your responsibility of making these hard decisions, resign. You're here to make some hard decisions. And I concede to you this is a hard one. Because those descriptions of those heinous crimes, those tug at your emotions. They tug at mine. It's the subject of closure for victims have been talked about. What we do know in capital cases it's harder for survivors to get closure because the case goes on and on and on and on. And just imagine those survivors of, of a victim of, in a case where somebody was falsely accused. The wound is reopened, maybe some 15, 20 years later. The wound is reopened. Those victims, they don't get closure. I was watching 48 hours over the break. And there's a case in Arkansas, a case involving a young lady that was brutally murdered in Arkansas, in Russellville, Arkansas. Nona Dirksmeyer is the name. And they charged her boyfriend for the murder. And he was the one who had called 911, and the investigation of the uh, murder scene, they uh, found his palm print on uh, the light bulb of the lamp that was used to bludgeon this beautiful young lady to death, a heinous crime. So um, they had some forensic evidence. You know, there's been a lot of talk about forensic evidence. They had his palm print. So they uh, proceeded with the uh, prosecution, and uh, the prosecution they had in, 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 in d uh, obtaining evidence of the crime scene, they had, there was a condom there, a condom wrapper there, that had not been tested by the prosecution. Uh, luckily, this young man had an aggressive defense team that uh, was able to test that. And he was acquitted. But his defense team, not the local prosecutor, because the local prosecutor and the, and the local police department was still convinced that he was the one that did it. So they had to bring in the state police and the special prosecutor. And the defense team, after he, their, their client was already acquitted, kept on investigating. And they linked it to another man who lived in the complex who had previously been convicted of assaulting a woman. Now, I want you to imagine for me if that individual had remembered to pick up the condom wrapper. There would have been forensic evidence linking it to the boyfriend. Ah, I've heard, when you know that you know. We would have known that we knew in that case. We might have thought that we knew that we knew with Jerry Hobbs had not by chance the real perpetrator 
had been arrested in Virginia. Deterrence, I, you know, I, you know, Senator Nolan did a good job in committee and on the floor analyzing the different studies. I don't know. I tell you, with every study that you hand me from Harvard University, I could find one from Yale University saying the opposite thing. I don't know. I can't tell you for sure. What I can tell you in states that don't have the death penalty, the crime rates are lower. Uh, State's Attorney Alvarez mentioned 435 murders. She didn't mention that was a 45-year low for Chicago. You know, it's all in, not all in what we say, it's what we omit as well. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, as I said before, I cannot impose my values on you. You have to make your own reconciliation. But I want you, as you push that button, to not be so removed from the medically trained man or woman who has to inject the serum in the person accused of a capital crime. I urge you to have us leave the company of the abusive countries that Senator Hutchinson listed and join the company of the rest of the civilized world. I urge you to vote aye. The question is, Shall the Senate concur in House Amendment Number 1 to Senate Bill 3539? All those in favor will vote aye. Opposed, nay. The voting is open. Have all voted who wish? Have all voted who wish? Take the record. On that questionnaire, 32 voting aye, 25 voting nay, 2 voting present. Senate Bill 3539, having received the required constitutional majority, is declared pass. Senator Harmon, for what purpose do you rise? <laughs>